Hi guys, Random here. Back with not a lot more World of Warships for today. Um, and there's a reason for that. I had lined up for today uh, to show you the T-61. Okay, now the T-61 is a Tier 6 destroyer. In fact, let's just jump into this. And you will see... I don't know what happened there. I must have clicked on that. Um, you will see here, spend doubloons and get the T-61 a week early. Okay. So the idea uh, is the T-61, which has been flaunted in-game for nine months. Um, it's been around in one version or another. It's been given to super testers and community contributors, and they've looked at it, and they were... Okay, right, okay. Uh, and this has been going on for about nine months. So finally they go to release it, and I'm like, well, do you know what? I, I want to convert some XP anyway. I had over a million XP um, on my ships, and I wanted to convert some. So I thought, okay, well, I've got some doubloons. I'll buy a few more, and I will get this ship a week early. So I'll be able to put a video up today, which is the day it's supposed to be released. And, uh, yeah, I'll give you the opportunity to have a look and see if you fancy it. Okay. So what you had to do was click the button below to participate in the event. And if you can hear a thunderstorm going on, it's because the sky is as pissed off as I am about this. Uh, so there is a button here says it's now expired, there was a three day thing, I did it probably about midday on the Tuesday, I clicked the button, and um, spent the doubloons, so I was participating, I spent the doubloons, and the idea was the T61 gets credited Friday, August the 10th, now you can see here, that it is now 2 o'clock, in the afternoon, on Friday the 10th of August. Okay, this is a tier 6 destroyer. So, depending on how many doubloons you spent, depended on what you got here. Um, so, yeah, you got some camos, some signal flags, and the ship. Uh, I think it came with a port slot, and uh, I think it comes with a captain, but I don't think it's a particularly fantastic captain. Um... So yeah, so here's some details on the ship. This is all grey. Here's a, a load of comments on there. Fantastic. Here is the game. And you can see there, German and destroyers. Can you see a T-61? I can't see a T-61. How annoying. So I thought I'll go over and I'd have a look at the forums. And, um, yep, yeah, there's five pages on this. Um, I've been following it. And, okay, I mean, th this guy, he posted a thing seven hours ago. So it would have been about 7 a.m. Um, you know, maybe a little bit ambitious, seven o'clock in the morning. But, yeah, you know, fair question. Uh, what time will the T-61 and the other stuff, yada, yada, yada. Right, so there's a, a whole bunch of people here that uh, have said pretty much the same thing. There's a few trolls, but hey, it's the Wargaming Forum, so what do you expect? Um, and two hours later, Mr Conway came back. Now, to be fair, okay, this would have been about the time he got into work. So, you know, that two hours, you don't know where this guy seven hours ago posted it but yeah to be fair this would have been about nine o'clock um my time so yeah it kind of makes sense um so he's come back and he said bloody bloody blah, blah, blah we're already on it uh need to extract from the server logs the balloon expenditures of all participants yep right okay that makes sense um, and he says here it's only 9.30 and I've only had a single coffee. Do you know what? Yeah, fair enough. All right. So then we went on here. Uh, he came back again. 
Um, and he, you know, somebody made a, a fair observation here and he came back and he said, don't disagree with you. Um, and then we had page three. Uh, wait for it to load. And we go through and there's no updates. Um, we're now three hours ago, so now two hours ago, so it's been like three hours since the last comment um, from Wargaming. And we go through here, and you can see, yep, there's me um, sort of commenting. And we go down, and <laughs> yeah, nothing from Wargaming. We're now on page five. Um, and there was one of the uh, community managers was actually browsing the thread, so I, I sort of tagged them in it and just asked if there's any news. Um, and there's nothing. And then half an hour ago, we had the German community manager, um, which, you know, cool. You know, his English is, or well, their English, I don't know whether they're male or female, let's not assume. Their English is far better than my German, so fair play to them for that. Um, but they're saying the day is not over, and um, it's half past one in the afternoon. The day is well more than half over, actually. You know, I couldn't turn up to work at quarter past four in the afternoon on a Monday and say to my boss, well, you can't sack me. I did turn up on Monday, you know. I need to be there when I need to be there. Um, so, yeah, I've, I'm kind of really getting annoyed now. Um, and you can see here, I actually put a thing here uh, to the German community manager. I said, appreciate that it's not you guys pushing the go button, but if you could remind the sales guys to under-promise and over-deliver. This is a very basic thing in customer service, uh, something Wargaming don't seem able to do, unfortunately. Um, and I'm now off to record a video explaining why I don't have a ship to review today so I can have it posted at my regular time. So yeah, um, here I am with my sort of annoying video. I'm really quite annoyed about this. 25,000 doubloons you had to spend, okay? This is a not inconsiderable amount of money. So if we have a quick look at the shop and we look at the balloons and we look at, uh, I think you can do it here, any amount. So if we go 25,000, that's 71 pound 36 pence that you needed to spend in game. Now granted, I had some uh, and I bought uh, a pack with some premium time and Oh, I hate this bloody thing. 21. I ended up spending, yeah, about 60 quid to convert XP. Uh, now, this ship is going to be about £20 when it comes out, give or take. And, okay, if you look at it, that you're getting the free ship on top of it. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm happy to say, yeah, it's not a bad uh, way of doing it. It's it's an attractive offer, but it's less attractive if they don't follow through. So here am I, sat here at five past two in the afternoon, recording a video that should have featured the T61 uh, to show you that particular boat um, and nothing. So, sorry guys, no ship today. Blame Wargaming and their ineptitude. Um, they should really have pulled their finger out. It's not that difficult to do an SQL uh, inquiry on server logs. I really can't understand that a company that can fashion a huge amount of models along with physics, penetration, <laughs> um details and I mean there's just a huge amount of variables in the game these are not stupid people the developers are clever people in order to be able to do this so why one of them hasn't
been asked to kind of write an inquiry in, you know, SQL or whatever works with their system to be able to just pull the data off really quickly is beyond me. Absolutely beyond me. It's really, really poor. So my advice to you is if they ever do anything like this again, do not, I repeat, do not buy into it. Wait the week, get the ship. That's what I'll be doing in future, because this is appalling customer service. This should have been, well, according to the um, the article, if we go back and look at it, uh, this should have been done... I think I'd probably need to jump back a couple of steps. Uh, the end of the event was my local time, well, 10 o'clock and 59 seconds this morning. Um... So, you're now four hours late. Not good. Not happy. Not happy at all. Anyway, if and when the boat does eventually appear, I will record a video. And uh, I'll put that up as a bonus one. But, uh, yeah, for now, it's Captain Random signing off, going back to the forums, and getting cross. Catch you again in the next one.